What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model a parametric shipping container and the parametric part is you'll be able to change a length so shipping containers come in standardized uh, lengths they're either 10 feet, 20 feet or 40 feet which is 3, 6 or 12 meters and this video is actually a request by one of my patrons uh, his name is MD Hanpach uh, Abu Navar. I hope I I probably didn't pronounce that right, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, so he asked me to do this uh, shipping parametric shipping container uh, family where I show you how to make it so you can have just one family and then you can change uh, the length of the shipping container and then you can use that to convert it into a home. And I already did a tutorial on that, so check that out. First link in the description. And if you want to join my Patreon so you can get this shipping container family that I'm going to be creating, as well as all of my other project files, and so you can do like video requests like this or ask me questions, first link in the description is the link to my Patreon. But anyway, so this will be modeled as three uh, nested families or basically one family with two other families nested within it. So let's start off with a family. So we're going to be doing one of those secondary families. So just go new. And I'm just going to be dropping back a folder to use the metric uh, library. But of course, if you want to use Imperial, you can. So I'm just going to be using the metric generic model. And as, it's, as soon as it starts up, Let's uh, type in just UN to change the units, but okay, well, let's wait for a second. Okay, UN to change the units and let's change them to something like uh, centimeters maybe. Hit OK, OK, and uh, now I'm just going to be going to the left elevation or maybe even the right, no, right elevation. Let's, let's start with that. Okay, so first we need to do the doors and I'm just going to be doing them real simple like, so let's just go with extrusion and uh, let's just see a line like this. Now the height of this contain shipping container is uh, two, uh, 2,600 uh, centimeters, or no, 260, yeah, centimeters. And now let's do just a vertical line like this. Now we want to have two of these notches in the middle and we want them to be at equal distances. So I'm just going to be typing in DI for dimension place a couple of dimensions like this and just hit EQ to equalize them and now we can start modeling those kind of little notches so do something like this select this thing type in MM mirror it to the other side then trim and extend this in place then you can select the whole thing go CO for copy and copy it down over here now we can delete these two like lines that we used to help us and this one as well and let's just type in SL for split element, split it here and here as well, and then just trim and extend to kind of connect everything together. Okay, let's connect this one too. Okay, so once we have this done, now we can go in and offset this a bit. So let's give it an offset of something like, I don't know, 20 or no, let's do one centimeter, sorry. Okay, so let's do like that, zoom in, do it kind of like this and you have to do it for all of the lines so just to give it enough thickness I think one centimeter is was the good option and now here let's delete the offset and let's just cap this over here and the same thing on the bottom and now for the constraints for the extrusion end uh, I want this to be uh, like 240 centimeters so for the extrusion end uh, I'm just going to be typing in to 120 and for the extrusion start minus 120 so combined we've got that 240 and when I go to front elevation this is what you get and let's just go here to hit online okay and now once we have this I'm just going to be adding a frame around this just to kind of sturdy it up a bit so just go to create extrusion uh, rectangle and let's just go like this and give it an offset of I don't know something like five centimeters and do the same thing or maybe I should have gone with 10 yeah make it sturdy so just encompass it like this and for the extrusion start and the extrusion end let's go again with uh, I don't know let's make it 10 centimeters so the, here should be five and here should be minus five okay apply okay when we go into 3d this is 
how it looks like. Now we want to join this thing, so just go join and do something like that. Okay, so this looks nice. This is kind of the, the door for the, the whole shipping container. And we can select all of this geometry and give it some material. So let's go with some steel. Let's see what we get. Do we get some painted steel? Yeah, let's do let's do a red container. Let's see what this looks like. Or maybe blue. Yeah, I think this is like it's more matte, so I like that. So let's just load it in, hit apply, okay. So now it's bluish. And if we go to realistic, yeah, okay, this is very, very bright blue. But anyway, so we're done with the cap. So now I'm just going to go to here to file, new, family. And this will be the main family. Again, drop back a folder, go into uh, the metric one and go generic model as well. Hit open. Okay, so this is what we have. And now let's add some reference planes. So you either go over here or you type in RP. And just place one here and one here. Then you want to add some constraints or some dimensions that are going to be turned into some parameters later on. So just type in DI and you dimension this thing like this. Hit EQ to make it equal, 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 okay. And then just place one over here. And now, if, as you can see, if we change one, the other will follow. But anyway, we need to turn this into a parameter. But first, let's change the units. So I'm just going to be typing in UN and let's change this to centimeters okay okay and uh, now let's turn this into parameters so just select the the dimension line and you go over here to label and as you can see we don't have any parameters so just go here to create parameter and let's just call this length and you can go here to family types and you can change it so let's change it to 600 for now hit apply okay so this will change uh, here, so that, that's where we're going to be able to be changing this family up. But let's load those caps up, so go to one of these, okay, load into project, and here it is. Okay, so just flip it around and place it like this. Now you just go AL for align, and you align it to this center point, and you lock it in place. So it slides along this reference plane. Then uh, what you want to do, you want to mirror it to the other side. So just type in MM for mirror and do that and align this one as well. So AL and you just lock it in place. Then again, you need to use the align tool and to lock it in place to this thing. So just lock that in place and do the same thing here. Okay, that works. Now what we need to do is we need to create the rest of the container ship. So our ship, shipping container. Yeah, so go to maybe front or no, left elevation. And now let's go here to create extrusion and then go with rectangle. And you just create one rectangle here. You select it, MM for mirror, pick access, again, select it. And now go with DM for draw mirror and you find the center point, pull it out a bit and there you go. So, and let's set the material to that same paint. So this is the one and let's go to finish going to front elevation and this is what we have so you just pull this oops okay I don't need that dimension line so you select it and you grab this kind of slider and you pull it all the way to the reference uh, line and then you lock it in place and do the same thing here so all the way to the reference plane lock it in place okay and if we go into 3d this is what we get and can we join this hopefully nope Okay, never mind that. So now we need to do uh, the rest of it. And as you probably know, these shipping containers, they're kind of ribbed. There's a bunch of ribs in between. And for that, we need a rib family. So let's go here to create or no file, new family. Again, drop back a folder, go into English metric, generic model. Here it is. And uh, let's uh, now model that rib. So let's go to front elevation. And for the rib, I'm just going to be using a sweep. So go to sweep, sketch path, go rectangle, and just create a rectangle like this. Next, you need to select one of these. And then you change the dimension line to the middle. And you type in here, what's that number? It was 120 
or here 1200 because this is in millimeters but let's change it quickly to centimeters okay so you change it to centimeters hit ok ok change this one as well to 40 and for the height to 60 there you go okay so now uh, we need to create another rectangle and let's offset this one by five centimeters because uh, or 10 no let's go five and you offset it to the inside okay change this to five okay so we don't need these this other outer one uh, so basically this will be just one rib now we need to add the profile of course so just hit finish for this go to left elevation and let's do the profile so edit profile and for the profile uh, as you remember uh, the whole shipping container is either 3 6 or 12 meters so the number that's repeating over there or it can be divided by 0.3 meters or 30 centimeters so one rib or one element will be 30 centimeters long so what you need to do is you need to do two vertical lines and make sure that they're at both at 15 centimeters from this center line or 30 from each other and then you do the rib in between so you just go like this or let's just do one line like this then you do something like I don't know like this connect it select this thing mm for mirror with pick access sl for split element and then trim and extend and trim and extend this now you don't need these two helper lines delete them do an offset one centimeter so you kind of offset it just like that and you do caps on each side so put this to zero done done and uh, again let's do the material and let's see let's type in uh, steel and where's that bluish steel okay here it is load that in apply okay finish finish and there you go this is just one of the ribs and let's just now load it into the project uh, load it in family 2 if I remember correctly yeah that's the one and you just spin it around by hitting the space key and now again align AL so you align it there lock it in place then you align it to one of these sides lock that in place and now you need to select it and go to array so you either go here to array or you type in AR for array and then let's type in some number like six and go here with last and then just extrude it like this okay so now once you've done that you can do some constraints so again AL for align align this here lock it in place and align this this to this and lock it to place so you're aligning it to the reference plane and now you can change up the this so this is 600 so this should be 20 ribs yeah that's right so 20 ribs and if we're going to 3d this is what we get but we want this to be able to uh, be changeable so how do you do that well you need to go here and uh, let's go to reference level select one of the ribs and then you get this dimension that says just the number of uh, of instances so you select that and you go here to label and you go to add parameter and let's call this an O of ribs or maybe it's two B's I don't know who cares so let's go now into family types so the number of ribs should be this number divided by 30 so let's go length control C control V divided by 30 hit apply okay and now what happens if we go or let's go into 3d come on okay we're in 3d let's place it like that so now if I go over here and if I change this to 1200 or which is 12 meters it changes but the number of ribs uh, is doubled and if we change it to 300 which is the smallest uh, option for container you get this and now you just want to add this to family types so it's a bit easier to work with so you just go here new type and let's call this 3m for 3 meters hit ok then you want to go to new type let's call this one 6m for 6 meters hit ok and change this to 600 hit apply and then finally go to new and let's call this one 12m for 12 meters 
hit OK and change this to 1200 apply okay and there we go if we go just to realistic let's see okay this looks really good now okay and there you go that's how you create a parametric shipping container family that actually changes length and then you can use this and maybe try out uh, my tutorial where I showed you how to uh, turn a shipping container into a house but anyway if you want to get this family get it on my patreon thank you for watching please like and share this video please subscribe for daily tutorials and if you have any questions comments or suggestions make sure to drop them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day